Hey, today I thought I'd do a little commentated run of post Honkai Odyssey. Uh, that first video that I uploaded two days ago, I actually talked to the whole thing, but for whatever reason, my Xbox Gamecaster, the mic was muted. So, I'll go over a little bit of it. Not really a whole lot I can do right now. Uh, in about eight hours, they're going to uh, reset the, uh, the whole tasks and everything, so I'll actually be able to progress in the story, but I kind of felt like playing right now. So they got the generic anime guy. Some pretty cool stuff in here, but it's all uh, level gated. And this is a character from the original game. And then there's a, a punch lolly you can unlock later. I'll be able to get that character uh, when they reset the server. Alright, let's go. So I can't go over here until I get uh, until level eight, which will be tomorrow. Ah, the late I actually like this mode better than the, the regular game. <laughs> it's way more up my alley. I'm not a fan of this game's monetization. It, it takes like way too many attempts to get anything good from the uh, loot boxes. Like, they really expect you to spend, like, $200 to get one thing. <laughs> I would spend a lot more money on this game if the monetization was more fair, but... It's a problem with a lot of games like this. They only really consider whales worthwhile. Not people like me, who don't have the disposable income to be whales, but still support the game. I feel like this is the kind of game they always wanted to make, but limitations of mobile hardware have uh, definitely held them back. I hear from a lot of people that play this on the phone that uh, their phones can like barely handle this mode. The PC port of this is actually quite optimized. It's pretty much always above uh, 100 FPS on my rig, but apparently on phones it's like another, another issue. <laughs> so I can't really go that far, but I can show you the mechanics. You have a double jump. You have an S string, dash cancel. He has Nero's high roller. You get that by holding the attack button. You have a double jump and a jump cancel, and then he has like a helm breaker type thing. And this character, she has flash. That's a purple bar at the bottom. Uh, you can use that to extend your air combos. You can do something like this. And tag to him. Double jump cancel. Do that, and then change it to ultimate. 
It feels really good to play. Uh, I'm sure it'll get even better once I get the, the punch lolly, but that's not going to be until tomorrow. So maybe I'll make that tomorrow's video. I think I, uh, okay. I think I killed all the monsters. There's not any left. They respawn on the timer. Also, the currency you get to upgrade your characters uh, is capped per day, and I guess I already capped it today, so I can't really show much, but I felt kind of bad that I uploaded a 40-minute video and uh, there was no voice commentary where they were supposed to. Sometimes I forget to unmute the mic, or it just kind of happens randomly sometimes, and there's not really a whole lot I can do about it. Well, there we go, another teleporter. I think I, uh, I think I cleaned the city out. There might be some dudes down here. I've seen their new game, Genshin Impact. The thing that turns me off about it the most is the, the character designs. They're all just, like, generic anime people. Even more generic than these people. <laughs> and, like, the open world is just a big turn-off to me. I, I don't really think I'll enjoy it. I think I'll probably, like... Playing this more. But this game's been out for a few years. So it's had more time to develop. Well, I think I cleared everything, so that'll be it today. <laughs> I'll catch you guys tomorrow uh, after reset, and uh, I'll probably show unlocking the punch lolly, and then I'll be able to go to this area too. Thanks for watching.